the hair is back <laughs> the shit is real <laughs> And Christine is about to share her night with me. (laughs) Okay, I'm ready. The microphone is banging around. Are you sure? The whole table is banging around. My my life is banging around. Yeah, I'm ready. (laughs) I'm not even going to do like an official start. No, we've started. It's (laughs) Alm. This is... Okay. I went out yesterday. We can all hear that in my voice, babes. Let's not mince words around this. I went out. And I went to a few places. Um, It's been a long time since you could just be like, let's go to more than one place. Okay, I can't move too much because it hurts my head. Um, (laughs) But I went out to a couple of of places, you know. one that my uh, my friend Sabrina is uh, the, the bartender, at, uh, main bartender at, and she's amazing, by the way, chickadee room for the win. Um, one of the first places was we were on a banquette. Uh, no, not banquette. We're on the on a bar. We we're sitting on the bar, and it's a corner bar. And there's me and my dear friend Andre, <clears throat> who I have not seen in a long time, months. No, sorry, it's the pandemic. Years <laughs> I've not seen in person. <laughs> Yeah, lost track of time. Let's just forgive me for a second. And But then I saw someone else that I hadn't seen in a very long time who, you know, I see in the music industry around, out and about, like, nice, nice person. Um, and so I said hi and, you know, did the elbow bump and kind of just pleasantly said hi. But I, I needed to focus on my friend, right? The problem was that this other person was right next to me if the bar is a corner i was we were on like the edge of one corner and this other person was on the other corner by themselves for the entire duration that we were there and so i was in a conundrum and this is what i wanted to get your opinion on uh i was in a conundrum because i was like i i don't is that the right word right yeah yeah I think so. I, Sounds okay. like it. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was in this conundrum because I was like, well, there's this person that I, I would like to engage and say, you know, hi, more than just hi. But at the same time, we're waiting for a table in another restaurant. We don't know how much time we have. Oh, sorry, in another um, bar. We don't know how much time we have. Um, and I think it's socially inappropriate for me to try and involve this new person in a conversation when I need to, I I want to catch up with the person that I arranged to meet with. Okay. You look like you're thinking. No, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay. (laughs) There's more because then when we went to pay, Andre went up and went to the washroom and I turned around and I was like, Oh, you know, how's house music. And he got up. And he shrugged and he walked away. And I was like, what did I just say? What, how was I, how how did that, what? Um, And I then found out later that that person was very offended. (laughs) And how did you find this out? Did you get a message later? Yeah. But, and not in a rude way, like, let's be yeah. completely honest, like, but I'm bringing this up because I'm like, have I, what did this, okay, and the reason that I wanted to bring this up to you, because in Canada and in Vancouver, like, I don't know what conventions are, I know that every, different people are very different, there's different etiquette, but this was my, this was my thought process, if I engage with this person, I'm going to then have to facilitate a three-person conversation that was un- like not intentional with someone that I don't know knows the other person in a context where I don't know that I have any time at all before we move on to the next place. No idea if this person had another person coming to meet them. I didn't want to do the pleasantries to the point where it was like, well, meet this, this, what do you, what do you <laughs> this is what they do. Because for me, that's how I've been brought up is to not just be like, hello, 
and then sit down and ignore a person. That's not my intention in any way. But there's also social social responsibilities to the person you've <laughs> done with, right? The issue was the proximity. I think the issue was the proximity. If I had said, oh, hello, nice to see you, and then walked to another part of the room. But but you were but, like kitty corner. You were like I sitting was, yes. next to each other. Yeah. And Ish. Then, yeah, right, we were right next to each other. Oh, that's awkward. It's so awkward, but I don't know what the answer is. I don't know how to deal with that. I don't, what do you? Did you set any expectations for the guy who is sitting there alone? Like, hey, blah, 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 it's so nice to see you. But like, you know, I'm just catching up with this guy who I haven't seen in forever. We should totally catch up another day. Did you set any like? No, no, I didn't want to. Because I, I, I. <laughs> I will never. Okay, sorry. Just to be really clear, I will never say to somebody, "I will let's catch up another day." You know for a fact, I don't have other days. I don't have other days. I have like forty-five minute meeting slots with my parents. Like but you don't, you don't say like f- until another time. That's that's the expectation. Like not that you're going to give one, them a day, but just or or this person this wasn't being, this important is, enough to. Or I shouldn't say important enough. No, we're, we're not, not that friends enough. Right, you're not that. Your friendship is not so grand that you would like <laughs> set. <laughs> that, time that's away. Not, not so grand. It's the fact that you know that I don't have time when someone goes, we should get coffee. I get anxiety. When someone says, let's meet up, I get, when someone says, let's have a five minute phone call, I get anxiety. (laughs) (laughs) I don't, because what what do I do? Okay, let's run that scenario then. I go in, sit down and go, oh my gosh, (laughs) I'm with my friend, but it's so nice to see you. And then the, like the end, or or do I say, it's so nice to see you. You know, maybe I'll bump into you at a random bar again another time and exchange <laughs> pleasantries in future in the same manner. Oh, so did you just not say anything at all? I said hi. I said yeah, hi. Yeah, you said hi. Did the, the, the thing. And then yeah. I sat down. And then, the, okay, so in to my credit, I was <laughs> facing, I was facing Andre. And I was facing Andre, not facing this other person who... Look like in England, people sit there and nurse their drinks and just have a drink, and they just do that. They go to a bar or a pub and they just they just watch the world go by. Who am I yeah. to think that I was like? Was I? Is that, that not is very thing? English? P.S. No. It kind of weirded me out when I was there. I was like, what are these people doing? Just drinking. <laughs> Okay, so that's a cult. Don't you have something to do tomorrow? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they do. But, but yeah. also kind of like not kidding. It did weird me out. But um, I no, as far as like <laughs> the social graces, I, d- you know what? For me, it's not a drink. It's like usually a coffee, but I will do it over a drink if I'm like traveling by myself. Yeah, I'll but go. you do something at the same time. You don't just stare no. into no, space. No, 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 no. I'll just sit there by myself. When I'm traveling, absolutely. That is like the best thing in the world. And I don't want to be disturbed. That's the other note is if I'm sitting there having a drink by myself, I do not I repeat, I do not want you to approach. I'm sitting there <laughs> to be alone <laughs> with do my drink. <laughs> I am enjoying my alone time. Please do not see it as an invitation. So how I can see that? why you would be like, how do, yeah, I can see I can see the confusion there. Um, You're right. I, I think know. I needed to manage the expectation. But I think it was I mean, the clearly expectation. Clearly I needed to. I got a message. <laughs> that made me feel like I was the worst person on the planet. Like, <laughs> but I think I... it is an expectation thing, like, but also, I don't know. I think maybe maybe that person was had some internal things going on that was kind of getting... I don't know. I think I think it was like an internal thing going on where they were like, I really wanted to talk to this person because I was having a shit day. But then like yeah was trying to put that on someone else because i think there is social graces about like you're there with someone else and it's one thing if they if they open it up to you but it's another like if they if it's clear that they're having their like catch up but i do think to avoid that in future Mm. managing expectations helps i don't think it was necessary for you next time i see you and we're (laughs) 
and we're at a bar, and, we're at a bar and I'm there with someone else. I'm going to be like, oh, hi, Raquel. Hi, friend. Um, it's so nice to see you. I'm going to turn around now. <laughs> now? That's not managing expectations. <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want I'm just, just, I'm going to do, uh, maybe I should, maybe I should just do that. Just be like, hey, so great to see you. Um, um, no, I think it's like, I'm uh, just catching up with a buddy I haven't seen in forever, but I'd love, I'd love to talk no, to you see, another time. But, but why? No, why can't you just lie? Raquel, just say no, it. Make people feel good. Like, no, what because do you have the to problem <laughs> then is, as you know, I will then have to speak to them another time uh, and make time for that other person. And not in a rude way, not that I don't want to make time, yeah. but just that that was not on my mental agenda of things to make people to make time for in the next week. So, <laughs> so it's have to be the next I, week. Because it's it not, be this, is, this, this is the thing with Vancouver. <laughs> it's like, it's empty. It's like, let's go on. And it's probably many other cities. I don't know why I just missed that gene that was like, when someone says, let's get coffee, I get my phone and I go, when, what date and time. <laughs> And then they go, oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, um, well, we can just find a time. I'm like, we can find a time right now. I have a supercomputer <laughs> in my hand. Here's now's the time. Or is or is what you're saying goodbye, full stop, and not let's get coffee. Because if you do, I'm threatening you with my supercomputer in my hand. Oh my god. What? Yeah. I don't understand. And this happens in so many, and I get it. And I understand like in Cantonese, like the first thing that someone says when you see them often is, mm-hmm. um, uh, it is, I'm going to butcher the Cantonese, but I'm going to be brave and say it. Um, uh, sick fa mea means, did you eat yet? Literally, did you eat rice yet? Okay. And that is the first thing that you say. It's like a greeting. It's like, how's it going? Right? Like on the People, street, you're like, did you eat rice yet? If you, if you're meeting someone. Like you're meeting up. Like, with oh, you're meeting up with someone for like. Yeah, not like as you're yeah, passing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, okay. I was like, to, you know, <laughs> the same way that I was you like, are say, you full? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it's basically like, okay. have you, do you have food in your stomach? Are you yeah. full? Are you, are you fed? Um, yeah. And comfortable. I, I und- are you comfortable? Are you comfortable? Right. But yeah. or, like, or how's it going? Like nobody actually yeah. really wants to know how you're doing. Here. Well, when someone's like, oh, how's it going? You know, it's yeah. that kind of greeting, right? Like, but. I think in in the exit greetings, you know, like or the 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 exit salutations. What is the word for the end of like the goodbyes? Anyway, yeah, insert that word. Yeah, it's seven a.m. Come on, um, <laughs> it, on a Saturday after uh, what five hours of sleep? After five hours, <laughs> which I'm I'm okay with five hours of sleep. Yeah. It's all of the cocktails that were very delicious. <laughs> um, uh, but what is the eggs? What is the exit? You know, what is like when when someone's like, oh, great. Well, it was so nice to bump into you. Let's catch up. Eh, no, meh, no, because then I'll be like, well, <laughs> you said it now. You've said the words and now I have to pull out my That's phone. actually such a good point, though, about clarity. Like oh. I went out with my sister and my mom. We went walking in White Rock before I left and we we're like, let's just go for a nice sunny walk. This is going to be so lovely. And this dude would I mean he ended up just like following us <laughs> yeah yeah like just down the path that's not a funny thing no no he was following us um I don't know he like the problem was I like looked over to see an ice cream shop and he was standing there and as my eyes sweat they met his eyes and that was like the lock-in moment for him oh no regardless this was obviously an a bit of a disturbed human, but um, he did end up following us down the path. And then, you know, he proceeded to talk to us. And this was like one of my last days there and really my last hangout with my family. So I was like, you know, and I can't remember, like my mom said a couple things. She was like, just trying to do the the avoid like, let's mm. just walk on this side, girls. Like, let's do this. And, oh, maybe we should stop over here. And then finally, I just, like, turned to him and I was like, listen, you know, I'm just, we're not interested. We're on a walk by ourselves. We just want to be by ourselves. Thanks, but no thanks. Please leave us be. Um, Did he? He didn't, actually. And so <laughs> we had to do it again, 
which oh. it did work the second time. So then my mom was like, you seem like a very nice man, but we really just, we don't want to talk to you. Sorry. <laughs> it sounds, yeah. it sounds kind of mean, but it's, you have to be clear. Is it mean? Or is no, it like, how I don't do think it that with should kindness? be mean. Like, no. I don't think it should be considered mean because at the end of the day, it's like, if you're going to intrude on people's time, you have to be prepared that they may not want it. I think that's really yes. the end result is like, okay. And that prepare was prepare yourself. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like... yeah that, and that's a, that's a, you know, in response to what you were saying earlier, I think that one, like, I'm so sorry that happened that, you know, when, when people's social norms are not the same as yours and they encroach on space, like that's right. a really unfortunate thing that happens. I think you and I've spoken about this. It happens to us a lot more than we would like. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's pretty relatable for a lot of people. Um, yeah. Uh, but secondly, like th these, I, this is why in, in all career pathway design that I work on, I, there's a tiny seed in my brain. That's like, how do we help people facilitate better communication f that allows you to remain kind while be, while setting mm -hmm. boundaries. And yeah. that to me was me going into a situation and in, in a much lower, um, stakes situation than yours where I didn't want to have to explain the situation. I didn't want to have to be, it was very, in my mind, it was very clear. And I, obviously it wasn't clear enough, mm -hmm. but I, you're right. I could have turned around and said, um, it's really nice to see you. I'm just going to turn around to my, to my friend now because I, I have, um, a, you know, a set time that I've put aside for my, for my friend. Um, but yeah, it was really nice yeah. to see you. Um, but in the moment, you don't think that way. You're like, hi, this, you, you revert back to those social norms that you're, yeah. you're brought up with. And for me, I'm not like, I feel like, feel like I'm of the world, but not in it half the time. Cause I've been in so many different cultures that I don't know which one is appropriate. And then I either look, sound like a super direct asshole <laughs> um, that is just like give me your give me your times and availabilities when all I'm doing is being like I'm just doing what I what you are saying literally words like how many times do you do I say to you who is we that is not a there's no there's no actionable item from we it's the same thing whereas I'm like okay this is the thing but then in at the same time obviously someone's turned around and been like that was really socially rude mm. And I'm like, well, what's the answer? Oh, oh, okay. Let's. I'm not gonna subscribe to. Oh, let's go have coffee at some time. And then when they go, yeah, sure. I go away. I don't feel like a good person. I feel like a liar. And I, we both know that I am. I am a mediocre actor and a terrible liar. <laughs> okay, but I think what you said just now of managing expectations. It was great to see you. Um, I'm just in a catch up with my friends, so I'm gonna jump out back over there. But yeah, but then I don't jump. It was anywhere. lovely. It I was don't lovely. Jump anywhere. I turn around. Oh, because you I were in the same spot. You didn't even yeah. like have to That's walk one where, step. Not, yes, if I, got, I didn't have to. I could. I couldn't even swivel. <laughs> I mean. I would yeah. love to hear what you all think about this, by the way. I <laughs> Please, please let me know what the appropriate response is, in your opinion. Also, you know, what, what you've done, what you've done in that situation. I don't know what I don't know. And I am not clearly Vancouver Canadian enough. I don't know if it's a cultural... It could have been that someone else, it could have been fine. But it could have just been a bad day for the other person too. Like, it could have been I that on another day, it wouldn't have even, like, triggered on their radar. But that day maybe it did or it could have yeah. been a good day for that person and i ruined it <laughs> well i mean that's that's jumping to the worst case scenario <laughs> mind you i do need to learn to be okay with that but that's the thing the more you're in the more you're in not even the public eye like i i am not a celebrity i don't have people who think that you know i am not famous but you're but very outgoing and you I'm show outgoing. your face in a lot of places you're I'm out like a lot I do, I do, I am, I do meet a lot of people, whether it's online on, on um, uh, conferences or whatever. I do know, I do know a lot of, like there are networks of people that mm -hmm. I, I interact with. And I'll be honest, I've been in situations before where someone's come up and said hi and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in, in my mind, I have never seen you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't know what, where, what the context is. My mind is racing. I am trying to exercise my, please, do, please just be a good actor for one minute of your life. 
Uh, and obviously it's failing, so I just oh look God. like some kind of rabid person. That's just I like, have to tell hi, you, hi. though, because I've had that where I went to school with someone. So I was doing this oh. promo job. I was in university and I was doing this promo job. I went to the States and it was like for this Comic-Con type thing. Anyways, whole nother life, but went there. And one of the girls that I was working with, she was like, Raquel, blah, blah, blah. And she's like talking to me. She's like, she knows me. And I'm looking at her and <laughs> we all know I do not have a poker face on. <laughs> and she's like, do you seriously not recognize? She was pissed. And I was like, no like can you can you remind can you me elaborate like, on your face can you elaborate like on where do your we know face? each other from i'm blanking and she's like we went to high school together i was like best friends with these girls you knew like all of this stuff and i was like how big was your high school i don't know not very big i guess like, like it hundreds, was thousands of people i guess thousands but not like massive thousands well, maybe like a couple thousand like but i mean also, in my in my defense, first of all, I was very aloof in high school. Like I just wanted in and out. Right. Majority of my friends were outside of my high school, like attending other nearby high schools. So right. when I was actually in the high school, I was just like laser focused. Let me get through these like classes and then get out to go to my friends. I barely like remembered what I was seeing in those hallways. But yeah, she was so angry with me. Like she took that so hard. And I was like, girl, I'm so sorry. But like, even with these stories, it's, it's not coming to me. I, yeah, people don't remember me all the time. I am i don't know why this is offensive to this poor person. Which, I mean, <laughs> fair enough. But like, what's not... Mind you, oh the opposite. I'm waiting for the opposite to happen. For, me, for someone to be like, "Hey, Christina," and me be like, "Hey, it's been a really long time." And they, and then they turn around and go, "No, it hasn't. I've never met you." And walk away. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that day where I, and then my, me, because most ninety nine percent of the time, someone will say, "Oh, I met you at this thing," and immediately as soon as they say it, I'm like, "Boom, yeah. Matt, I know I you know remember. The I remember yeah. this person," but. If you're on a pa if you're if you're one of the audience members on a panel that I'm on, right? Please tell me, like, tell me that that's the context. I need right. context. Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> similarly with this person sitting next, but this is why I wanted to bring it up as a little brunch break. I just needed to get that off my chest because I was like, I, I, do I've now offended, clearly offended someone. But at the same time, I'm like, my first reaction is like, excuse me. <laughs> what is your social norm but then i realize also that that's not you know obviously i'm missing some piece of this puzzle but now is my next chance to turn around and kindly articulate that i did not find it socially appropriate to engage in a conversation with someone the unfortunate situation was that right. you were sitting right next to me but i you know there was there were this is not how i interact but you know i, I and i feel like that because i i know that as i move and as you and I move in our careers and what we're doing like we need to be not diplomatic but like we need to be kind and co but communicate with those boundaries yeah and I've got to figure out how to do that at every turn because I what I don't want like our friend Carissa yeah if she, if someone doesn't like the way that she interacts because she's an influencer like but you're not going to be able to hit every person and have them happy every single time like you just no, but you can't I have, like, to be you have to be able to yeah Defensible. you have to make yourself you have to make yourself comfortable with that whatever that looks like which is but this isn't law like you don't have to be defensible it's just what makes you comfortable well, <laughs> and, but Anne pushes the boundaries you know anyway we have yeah. to wrap this up because i need to go and get a piece of toast and absorb some of these cocktails <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Well, like I said, I can't lie. Apparently, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Just be careful. If if you do say to Christina, you know that you'll go for coffee sometime, it's on the books. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, don't don't promise people that. Now I. Do you know how many people now I'm gonna have so to be whip like, out oh, her okay. super computer. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will whip, whip out <laughs> my supercomputer and uh, and and plug it right in, and it'll be in oh real time. God. Yeah. And to I be fair, if it's me, you may never hear from me again. So 
just yeah, they I didn't, didn't know the differences like of the people years. you talk to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did bump into Raquel multiple times before we started this podcast. She was like, yeah, we should totally catch up. Didn't happen. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> and now look what's happened. Now you see me every day. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. <laughs> or better. Retribution for <laughs> rushing me off. While I was running after you, just standing there in the corner with my super computer. computer. Going, I'm waiting. <laughs> It's booked in, though. It's booked in. 2.30 to 2.48. Give me 48 minutes instead of 45. <laughs> oh, all right. Goodbye. Uh, we got to go. I got to go eat toast. Yep. Toast time. I'm going to get a coffee. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for listening, Bombshells. In order to continue to elevate, subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell so you can get notified every time we have a new badass brunch. Until next time, stay focused, fierce and fabulous.